the launch event for the Hawaii Seafood Month. It's one month to celebrate how fishing and seafood are part of our heritage and our culture and our communities. An event like this helps raise awareness of the issues that confront the oceans in a unique way. People connect with the environment through their food. We're here to tell the story of how this food makes it from the boat all the way to the plate. All next month, all of the restaurants that are involved are giving a portion of the proceeds to the organization to help you know, raise awareness of our abundance of seafood that we have, but how important it is to really conserve and take care of that food chain and to really have sustainable practices. And we wanted to honor the fishermen because they're so important to what we do here in Hawaii. And people come here, they want to eat fish. So we thought, what a great opportunity to meet the fishermen and to let people ha actually have a chance to speak to them. Well, that's the way of life. Yes, it's about 20 years old. Fishing around here and up in the Northwest Hawaiian Islands. Definitely a good thing to have this kind of stuff, you know. Promotes everybody all the way around. From the fishermen to the chef, to the waiter, to the to everybody, you know. It was stoked to have my friends here and uh, we're all cooking together to celebrate Hawaii seafood and Conservation International is here and we're partnering up and just supporting our fishermen. Look at this, we have the ocean right next to us and that's what it's all about, just supporting fishermen and eating good food. We got some uh, fresh hapu upu Hawaiian sea bass with some fermented cabbage and Kalua barley broth. Our website is hawaiiseafoodmonth.com and all of the seafood at tonight's event will be traceable back to its source. This seafood traceability website is called This Fish, and This Fish is a consumer-facing seafood traceability tool, which essentially consumers know what the journey is from boat to plate. I'm the chef owner of Maui Fresh Treatery Gourmet Food Truck. We're located in Kahului, and each of the chefs tonight is uh, featuring a seafood dish that is traceable. And so what we have tonight is a Kona Blue Ocean Kampachi. It is sliced sashimi style and seared, and we're serving it over an Iwakawa uh, organic soba noodle bundle with ponzu vinaigrette, a little bit of kamoela cucumber, uh, some ikura, and some napili flow uh, micro shiso. Well, the, you know, the greatest part about it is uh, we're cooking amongst all of our friends, and, and it's, uh, it's important for all of us to have the same um, ideas and ideology to, to promote sustainability as a team moving forward into the future, I think is the most important part. And we're going to be doing a, a take on a, a brandat. So we got a kirdo pelu uh, and a kule uh, with um, some op uh, locally caught opaka paka and then some homemade lavash. And then the brandat is actually uh, made from ulu, breadfruit. Hi, I'm Chef Thailand Pang from the Fairmont Kealani. We're at the great event here and we are here to promote local seafood and support the local fisheries. We did uh, our version of the seafood lao lao. We're using manchong and we're using shrimp from Kauai. Uh, for the greens, we're using baby spinach from up country and baby choy sum. We just support the small, the, the, the small fishermen. We're bringing in, you know, smaller yields and that's what we pretty much do in the restaurant that's also what we're doing tonight we did was we have opaka we've we've olive oil poached it we serve it with corn puree harissa some sauteed cucumber a corn chip and okra it is to share the knowledge especially to the customer base and to all the people that work in the industry it's uh you know you learn something new every day we're doing a seared paka doing a little filet rolling in tapioca starch searing it in a clarified butter and we're serving it with a tomatillo avocado salsa and a little pico de gallo on top. It's important that we as chefs, the ones that are actually putting out the food, uh, be aware of what is sustainable and what is good for our environment. A strength in numbers and especially when you have a bunch of great guys um, and girls um, come together um, to, to believe in the, in the same uh, um, philosophy and concept. I, I think it's a very special event that way. If we don't take care of what the ocean provides for us, it won't be there tomorrow. It's really important. Um, from agriculture and farming to fish from the ocean, it's all good. We want to have fresh fish coming out of the same ocean that we look at every day, so it's really important.